I am really excited about tonight because Annie and I are going across the lake and we're going catfish jugging. Now, if you don't know what that is, you just take a regular milk jug or anything like that. Basically, just tie a string around the handle and then make it, I don't know, maybe three feet long or something. Put a worm on the end of that, put a hook on the end of the string, then put a worm on the end of that. And then you go where the best catfish are and you just lay them there and wait till you see one moving and grab it. So, so far, I've gotten, I think, six catfish in the four times I've gone I think and so Annie and I are going out and since it's been since it's been pretty warm the past few past few days uh, sorry I've, I'm on my boat <laughs> ah! okay just a second okay sorry I'm on my boat right now because Annie and I are getting ready to go over so uh well where was I so Annie and I are gonna go over we're gonna try a new area now we did this last time but we didn't stay out there very long we're just gonna see what happens i'm really interested to see what's across the lake okay we're here in the area so we're gonna go from here probably all the way down there all right number one So while Annie and I are just waiting for the jugs, we've been here about, I don't know, 45 minutes. We're just casting our lines out fishing. And I just caught a perch. Now we haven't got one of these in a long time. Like, dude, seriously, you used to just put your hook out with without a uh, without a worm on it. You would get them excited and they bite it without a worm. It was insane. You could catch like 20 in a day. So this is a really good catch. Okay, so there are other turkeys in the distance. Just listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that. They're, they're responding to my rather unconvincing call. <laughs> These two otters, or they might, might be two beavers. You can only see the ripples, but there's that one, and then there's one over there. They might be beavers, I don't know. They look pretty small to be beavers. So earlier today, I installed these little uh, LED lights around the inside of the boat. So check this out. Isn't that cool? And I'm planning on putting it like all along here and like all along the front. Uh, grab it, good job, good job, grab the handle. You hold that, I got it. Oh yes. yes! All right, you go get the next one, I'll get this. Okay. I don't think it has anything on it anymore. Okay, we got one. Okay, that was a hilarious turn of events. So I see this jug like bobbing up and down rapidly. And then as I'm turning around, then this jug starts pulling really hard. And I'm like, okay, we'll get this one first and we'll go over there. So we just, so we pulled this one up and then I went over there and it wasn't on anymore. So we still got a catfish and a perch. So this is awesome. I really hope we get another one. This is so yes. cool. Oh my goodness, we got another one. Four. This is a new record for me. The most I've gotten in one trip is two and a perch. And we've gotten a perch. This is awesome. I love this new area. It's a lot better than the area I had over there. Quick, quick, quick. On throttle. Okay, so we were just getting ready to go and we were picking up all the jugs and there's one on it but uh when he got on the boat he uh kindly he tangled up all of our lines so um yeah now we have to untangle and put the do with my hickeys back in the watch my jiggets, and then we'll be ready to go home all right we're heading back that's toby his lights on his boat are so bright 
Okay, oh, so Toby just Toby just came back from bow fishing, and Mom said, "Don't go outside. Wait till you see this." There's so a monster out there. yeah, there's a monster out there. All right, I gotta see this. <laughs> what did you get? <gasps> oh my goodness. Those are all eggs? Yep, that one's 20 pounds. And this one is 17. I broke my record twice with two fish. Holy crap! Look at that, look, the, the, uh, the, what are they called? Scales are stretched out because it's so full of eggs. Mm -hmm. Holy cramoly! All right, so it's the next morning. Time to clean these. Look at this one, it's full of eggs. And turds. All right, so we're going to be making a beer batter um, frying mix batter, whatever you call it. Anyway, um, so your ingredients are gonna be uh, beer, which I don't have right here right now, um, garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, onion powder, whatever seasoning you wanna put in. Hey, like a cup of flour. Okay, then you're gonna have your beer. It doesn't really matter what kind you have. You can get, I, this is just the cheapest kind I could find at the store. And you just pour a little bit in at a time. So it bubbles a lot, but that's okay. So just pour a little bit in. Yep, so we're gonna need a lot more. Okay, so once you got most of the chunks out of there, you're just gonna add your salt. And you're gonna add your pepper. Stuff. So you got a lot of seasoning in there. Should be really flavorful. Yep, so just mix it up a little bit. All right, time to put them in the batter, then put them in the fryer. So, I'm just gonna pop it in there. Get it good. There we go. So I'm gonna wipe some of this off, otherwise it's gonna be really, really thick. Keep going, keep going. That's nice. So about like that. Stay tuned for next video because I am building something no one else has built before and it's going to be awesome. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'll see you then.